Hey, what's up? This is Gary with GameStorm, and I'm back this week for another review on the Sega Genesis. And this time around, it's going to be Streets of Rage 3. Streets of Rage 3 was released in North America, Japan, and Europe in 1994 for the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive. It's a side-scrolling beat-em-up developed by the AM7 team at Sega. The music was composed by the famous Yuzo Koshiro, but for some strange reason, it's not very good this time around. The music was awesome in Streets of Rage 1 and 2, but it's not great in 3. Don't get me wrong, there are a few good tracks here, but they pale in comparison to Yuzo's previous works. You have four characters to choose from. There is Axel and Blaze from the original Streets of Rage. And then there's Skate and Dr. Zan. I really don't care for either Skate or Zan, so I always pick Blaze or Axel. This time around, there are these cutscenes that break the flow of the action between the levels. Some people may like them, but the story of a game like this is pretty unimportant to me. I'm just here to beat up some thugs and have some fun. Speaking of the story, our old pal Mr. X is at it again. It seems like he just can't give up and has started a company called RoboSci Corporation as a cover for his illegal activities. With the help of the world's best roboticist, Dr. Don, he has created robots to replace important officials to run the city for him. His crime organization, called the Syndicate, has placed bombs all over the city as a distraction to the police, so he can replace all the officials. Dr. Zen has found out what Mr. X is up to, and he contacts Blaze Fielding, and she in turn contacts her friends to help defeat the Syndicate and Mr. X. This game is pretty hard. It's much harder than Streets of Rage 1 and 2. I can beat both Streets of Rage 1 and 2, but I have only beat 3 on easy. I'm still working on beating it on the normal level. It's not a frustrating game, but it's very challenging. Enemies aren't too tough, but the boss battles can get brutal. I can usually breeze through a level, only to end up losing two to three lives sometimes in a boss battle, and some of the early boss battles can be harder than some of the later level bosses. There are four different endings, and to get the good ending, you have to beat it on normal or hard. If you beat it on easy, then you get one of the neutral endings. There's a good ending, two neutral endings, and a bad ending. The North American version is harder than the Japanese version. For some strange reason, Sega increased the difficulty, making the normal level in the North American version the same difficulty as the hard level in the Japanese version. The game looks pretty good because this is a 24 megabit cartridge. I still think Streets of Rage 2 looks better though.
A lot of people think this is the worst Streets of Rage, and in my opinion, they'd be right. Some people say it sucks, but don't listen to them, because they probably haven't played it, or they just aren't very good at it and get frustrated with it. Overall, I think it's a really good game. It's a lot of fun to play, and the challenge keeps me coming back for more. Streets of Rage 3 can be pretty pricey for the Genesis, so if you can find it for a great deal, I suggest picking it up. Or you can play it on Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection for the Xbox 360 or PS3. Well, I hope you enjoyed my review of Streets of Rage 3. Um, I captured all the footage for this video using an Easy Cap and a Model 1 Sega Genesis. I really wasn't too happy with the way it turned out for, for the quality. It had, uh, like, like the scan lines for some reason. It, it looked like they were vertical instead of horizontal. I don't know why it did that. I tried to clean it up, but I, I cleaned it up as best I could. Uh, just let me know in the comments below if you prefer this method over the last review I did that was uh, Alicia Dragoon. I used emulation that time around. Seemed a whole lot cleaner, but I really don't like playing games on my computer that I can play on my console. So just let me know in the comments what you think. This has been Gary with the GameStorm. Thanks for watching.